If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter and I will retweet it. But regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're going to be playing on the modern day mod here today as the United Kingdom. We're going to be playing a monarchist playthrough as Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II. That's my um, British accent for you guys. So guys, I want to make a deal with you on this brand new series on the channel. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly if not you just have to wait a little bit longer for that next upload so I will put in the description below uh, the mods I am using the modern day mod of course I'm actually using two modern day sub mods I am using the chaos modern day mod which make thing makes things go a little bit more crazy <laughs> like in the vanilla well, a Hearts of Iron scenario, and I've also installed a unit mod, which has recently come up. So, Dynamic Chaos, uh, watch the fire rise. Sure, let's go with that. So, have these units been changed? Yes, so we've actually got some Brits here with the Org Rifle. Um, a lot of Aussies actually use that. We've got some tanks here as well, so these units are in. I'll put in the description below as well the mod, so it should be quite nice. We're back in Hearts of, Four, Hearts of Iron 4, guys. I'm really excited to be here. It's the 1st of June, 2016. David Cameron is at the helm, but we will be switching over to Monarchist. So the main objective for this United Kingdom Let's Play is to reform the British Empire, bring back colonial rule to the savages, having some lands in the Middle East, maybe go back and try and get the British Raj, maybe, I don't know, hit Argentina. We've got some territory down in the Falklands, um, which we pretty much can navally invade. And also, let's not forget those fucking convicts, the bloody Aussies over here. Tony Abbott is currently in command, all right and uh, get them back under colonial rule. Now, to be honest, guys, I think Australia should be a republic. Now, um, we're not like under a vassalage of the UK, but I don't really know why we still like have the Queen as our figurehead. Like, honestly, I, I think Australia should be a republic. Let me know in the comment section down below if you disagree with me, if you're an Australian want to sort of dissuade me. But the main thing that I want Australia to be a republic for is to reform our constitution because unlike over in the United States, Australia's constitution does not explicitly protect freedom of expression. Um, that's probably my sort of 10 cents in that. And yeah, you guys did it right. You have a proper constitution. Our, our laws are kind of fucked here, if I'm being quite honest. You know what? Fuck it. I think Australia, uh, Tasmania should be a... Um, Republic. That's where I'm from. Fuck. Fuck, um... Yeah, fuck like the Northern Territory. Like, there's no comparallel between Tasmania and the Northern D Territory. And fuck those cunts over in Canberra as well. Why don't we become a Republic? I joke, I joke. But I'm actually from Tasmania. This is... I'm from this little island here. Um... There's the mainland of Australia, of course. And you, you know what? Fucking... Why not? While we're at it, let's change the flag. Um... I wouldn't mind the flag changing as well. The main argument for that is, well, there's a lot of Aussies that have died under that flag, which, in the same boat, a lot of Canadians died under a different flag in World War II, and they've got um, a maple leaf, so why don't we change it? Fuck it. Why not? Let's change the whole lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get stuck into the UK Let's Play. Now, um, I'm pretty persuaded, like I... What the fuck is this? Why are there UK troops at Hanover? Oh, okay, keeping a good old eye over of, um, Elizabeth, the vampire German werewolf. Anyway, what was I saying? Hopefully you guys aren't sort of turned off by the start of that video there. I kind of wanted to create a, um, a discussion, you know what I mean? I'm not very, I'm not, I'm not a very opinionated person, if I'm per perfectly honest. I actually like being persuaded, so, uh, I just want to create a discussion. I want people to sort of change my mind on things and, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm probably wrong, more than likely. Anyway, let's get stuck into the UK Let's Play. So, 1st of June 2016. First up, we want to go to Political Advisors, and we need to find a Monarchy. Where is Monarchy? 
There we go. Monarchy Drift. Now, let me know in the comments as well, guys where you would like me to expand. So, research-wise, we're currently making the L85A2. Probably want to go up with the L22A2, and then we've got our future rifles here of the LA1, and then we've got the 2000 here. So let's get some better quality rifles back into the British Army. Let's go with a engineer company, along with field hospitals. That's going to help us quite a bit. Also, artillery is really good as well. And then there's obviously industry. Oh, we need a thing. We need to get stuff snowballing. To be honest, we probably should go with a research if we can. What's going to give us better research time? Yeah, this is here. Let's go with that. Wow, do we seriously only have 10 military factories? That's absurd. Okay, let's get some support equipment up in here as well. Let's get everything raring to go. Right, I've just chucked in everything. We should be able to get some decent stuff. We're actually going to try and get some... Actually, I'll go through the tanks. What are we actually rolling with these days? I went through the rifles. So we've currently got the the Challenger, which is our main battle tank. The light tank, tank is the VFM. Uh, we've still got the Churchill in service as well and the Alvis. Artillery-wise, nothing really too fancy, if I do say so myself. Navy-wise, what are our submarines? What are we rolling with here? Because that's probably what I really want to go off for. Nah, just submarine two and three. Nothing really too spectacular. The Tornado GR1 is our main fighter. Our maritime patrol aircraft is the GN4 MPA. And then we have the Gen 3 bomber along with the Gen 3 attack and the Gen 1 UAV. Okay, we want to get some nuclear reactors underway, but of course we want to get military factories because we actually don't have too many of them. So let's get some so let's get some nuclear reactors. Five will do, and then the rest will probably go with military factories. Um, and then we'll give it a bit of a break, and then we'll go with military factories here. We'll leave the northern bit of Scotland and probably Ireland if we need to go with some resources. Right. Um, how are we going trade-wise? Right, so we are currently producing... Okay, 95 oil, 3 aluminium, 0 rubber, 77 tungsten, 169 steel, and we need chromium. So we need chromium and rubber. So that's where we're going to have the famous Scottish rubber up in the north. And let's go with chromium. So, Scots, the Scots famous for their sheep and rub rubber, apparently. Wasn't the first condom... A sheepskin, anyway, or something? You can thank the Scots for that. <laughs> okay, moving on now to the recruitment and deploy. Looking at some of these divisions, they are absolutely disgusting. Like, what the fuck? Only one infantryman in there? That's a disgrace. We are the British, of course. Like, what the actual fuck? Anyway, we're going to have to heavy, heavily develop yeah, these. So we'll quickly pop you in London. Um, infantry Brigade. You know what? We're probably just better off getting the infantry... Brigade, brigade there, um, and probably just getting some mechanized armor eventually. Let me know what I should name some of these. Her Majesty's Royal, I don't know, something. Okay, we're going to go into the political tree. We're currently only on, only on volunteer only, which is only give us, going to give us a 0. 0.5. If we go for limited conscription, it's going to give us a 0. 0.5. So let's do that. That's going to give us 600,000 men. So that's going to be easily allow us to, to maybe take out, I don't know, Ireland, the Republic. We've obviously got the North. It might be a bit easier for us doing that. We've still got a bit of spare political power. You know, I'm actually going to go with Army Offensive. Because I do eventually want to change my export focuses and probably civilian economy. But we're probably going to get more political power by the time we even get around to declaring war upon people, you know. Right, let's have a look at our national focus. Okay, guys, I've just quickly gone through the national focus. There's actually not too much we can do. I was tempted to download... There's actually a Britain focus mod which updates Brexit and a lot of that sort of stuff. However, it's not compatible with the Chaos mod, and I would prefer to play the Chaos mod where, like, the modern countries are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with other factions instead of focusing on a sort of European thing. So there's a little bit of unrealism with us still technically being in the European Union, but I'm sure there might be events popping up that can change that situation. It only gives us minor bonuses anyway. So, for example, we can't go down the monarchy tree because we already started going down the democratic sort of stuff. So, what I'm going to do is probably simply just upgrade my military factories. That's not too much of a bad idea going through that sort of stuff. 
Okay, moving on to my military now. We currently got 34 divisions in the field. There's been a peachy between Ethiopia, right? Switzerland joins the UN. I actually plan to stay in NATO because staying in NATO is just a huge plus. We we're going to get all these European armies to come with us. Even though we're technically not in the, the EU, we're still in NATO, of course. Let me know where you'd like me to expand, potentially in Russia. I would love to have a colonial Zulu adventure in uh, Africa. Maybe we can go to war with China and uh, have a Chinese opium war <laughs> and then go down and take Australia and stuff. Going through our territories, I'll quickly just put that in green. So we've obviously got the United Kingdom. I'm going to rally up all my troops and probably hit Northern Ireland as quick. Uh, yeah, and hit Re the Republic of Ireland from Northern Ireland as quick as possible. Um, Sweden's nearby. Uh, we could grab them up, maybe even Switzerland and Austria. We obviously do have Gibraltar down here, and Spain actually has a tiny piece of Morocco. We can start the invasion from there. But funnily enough, we actually have a lot of islands across the world, so we can navally invade from pretty much anywhere. We have the Falklands down here, so we might as well hit the Argentines. Watch out for their submarinos. Anyway, and there's also another island we've got over here quite near the Aussies. We've obviously... Oh, okay, right, that confused the hell out of me. Right, no. We've got, um... What do we have down here? We've got... What's this island? Kerguelen. It's French. And then we've got Diego Garcia. Okay. And then obviously we've got New Caledonia here. Off the coast of Australia. French. So we can navally invade them. Oh, we could even go after New Zealand. Those Kiwi buggers. Okay, we're slowly but surely making our way to Northern Ireland to take out the Republic of Ireland. Ukraine have made a peace and the Treaty of Minsk is in effect now. Okay, we currently have... 49 active fighters over in Birmingham, over in the Midlands, and they're going to be operating over Ireland, and we're getting back our navy as well. Okay, guys, we're nearly ready to declare war upon Ireland, but then an event has popped up. Italy pursues European policy, so I think they're going to be building stuff on other people's territory. Okay, cool. So we currently have 31 divisions ready here with Sir Stuart Peach. We currently have, as well, um, my navy operating in the western... Apaches. Okay, right, I've never fucking said that before. I didn't even know that was called that. We've got Jack Slater ready to, um, sounds really American, Jack, Jack Slater, fucking here, ready to go. And then we've also got our West Midlands Air Force over the top. But let's have a look at the units before we declare war upon Ireland, and maybe let's perhaps go around the world. Do the French have unique stuff? Yes, they look very unique. That looks quite cool. I'll put in the description below the mod. How about the Germans? Our cousins? Oh, looks like the Austrians have some Akadakas. Um, I can't see the Russians to be exact, but that'd be really cool. Uh, or potentially the Chinese. Here's Poland as well. Yeah, they're, they're actually using like modern equipment and stuff. How about the Amerikranskis? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> we go over to the Americans. Give me 50 press ups. <laughs> Tallahassee. I like it. I like it a lot. Gotta love America. Anyway, got some Jeeps down here. How fucking American is that? Not a tank in sight. They don't need tanks. Oh, there we go. Um, and what are they rolling with? Oh, classic M16s. They look like CSGO ones with a massive silencer on it. Ready to hit the the Mexicans. Uh, big bad barracks in, um, in charge. Anyway, enough rambling on. I think we're ready to have a, a crack at the Irish. Okay, so let's have a quick look at our units. Uh, what we're kind of rolling with. Okay, so we're still going with the L85. I'm just sort of wanted to see the templates, if I can. How do I do that? Yeah, here we go. This, I was just sort of seeing what the pre-made ones were. Yeah, they're actually quite trash. But we'll be right. We'll be able to hit Northern Ireland quite hard. Anyway, we have a instant war goal. So let's do that. Let's conquer the state instantly. Let's hit them and hit them hard. And let's show the Irish a real party. We're just going to military exercise. We're not doing nothing in Belfast with like 31 units. Okay, let's declare war upon Northern Ireland now. Hopefully, this doesn't drag us into any war just yet. But anyway, let's face the Irish. Nothing really 
we're coming up against. So, it, okay, so it looks like the Islamic State have fallen. All right. Um, to Syria. Wow. They've actually taken that former Iraqi territory. Yeah, Iraqi. Looks like um, good old Kurdistan has taken the northern bit. Kazakhstan. <coughs> I kid. Um, and looks like Syria's got the other half. Anyway, what are we sort of coming up against? The Irish. How many divisions do they have? Oh, seven. they've only got three and seven military factories. Not good, uh, to say the least, for them. All right, so we're slowly pushing in. We've taken Letter Kenny. We've taken... Oh, we're on the steps of Dublin, Dovlin, for Queen Elizabeth II. By royal appointment, I'm going to take our... I need to stop that. We've taken our... Whoa! Check out these fighters! Dicka dicka danger zone! Oh! Oh man, this mod is really cool. It, it breathes a whole new life into the modern day mod. Awesome. And now we've taken Ireland. Let's take all those states as well. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. She's all over Red Rover. Right, so we've managed to get one naval dockyard, but no military factories. Ah, oh, bloody Irish. I'm just curious, who can we actually release? Spain, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and Argentina. Argentina. Oh, wow. Okay, we can actually release Scotland. Ha. Huh. Ireland and Wales. That's awesome. Um, how can I do that? We're already subjugated them. I was thinking maybe we could have... No, nah, we're, we're... Yeah, that's that's really cool. Maybe, like, in a different playthrough, we could, like, release them. I don't know. Alrighty, we've made our way to New Caledonia now with my army. Little fa fa do 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 Little fa 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 Flight of the, Concord, Flight of the Concords is uh, quite a good show. Now, after defeating the Irish, we need... A new penal colony. We need a prison. And why not take the entirety of Australia? We're going to be naval invade from New Caledonia. Our tone is currently the Prime Minister. He won't suspect a naval invasion into Queensland. Those fucking Queenslanders won't expect what's coming. <laughs> Too busy doing schoolies. Beached up bogans. Anyway, um, we're ready to push in. Oh my god, if you guys haven't seen... Um, well, if you actually uh, read... Kevin Rudd's AMA on Reddit, it was quite funny, uh, as an Australian, there was actually a, there was a comment, it was like, is Tony Abbott as stupid in real life as he is on telly, and former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd said, he's about the same, which is fucking hilarious, if I do say so myself, gotta love Kevo, Kevin 07, <laughs> rightio then guys, I think I'm ready to hit Australia now, 29th of January 2017, a couple of days after Australia Day, a prime time, because of the four-day Australian hangover, or whatever. I've had to move my army off New Caledonia, because there's not enough baguettes, and there's really low supply, so we're going to have to do that. I've got a, um, a parachuting company here with Sir Richard Sheriff, ready to go, but we haven't got any transports, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. Anyway, six divisions ready to navally invade Brisbane, and then further up here, we've got Sir Stuart Peach ready to go, at a moment's notice, to invade... Australia. Right, having a look at Australia now, they actually currently guarantee East Timor, Fiji, New Zealand, and they are their independence is guaranteed by the United States. Okay. Oh, well, Trump's in charge, so Australia's fucked. We all know how bloody Donald Trump hates to <laughs> good old Malcolm Turnbull. Uh, anyway, um, 37 political power. How far away are we from getting, like, war economy or something? 45. We could keep an eye up on that to try and do that. And I wouldn't mind going with... Oh, we have to be at war. Okay, okay. How far is um, Queen Elizabeth away from becoming monarch? Oh, yep. Yeah. Elizabeth II. I wonder if she dies in the modern day mod. And then obviously we can have... Um, uh, oh, God. What's William's father's name? I can't remember his name. Ah, typical Australian. Not giving a fuck about the monarchy. Anyway, um, I know the son, I know it's William, William and Kate and um, George. I just can't think of the um, is it Charles? I think it might be Charles, Edward, Henry. Who knows? They're all the same to me. Um, uh, enough jibber jabbering. I'm pretty sure it's Charles. Anyway, let's um start justifying against Australia. 
my navy's here as well over the coral sea and then we've got my navy in the tasman as well all right okay justification is done let's uh declare war against the aussies the united kingdom goes to war all diplomacy has failed all right let's uh move on over it looks like we can i decided to hit brisbane out of oh hang on a minute what's going on here all oh, the aussies have sent out some fighters um can i bring in any more there's no more it's kind of a bit shitty coming from here um nah, we don't have any naval bases over here we've only just got that one oh i'm a fool we can actually have um we can actually have some ships operating over the top of our navy which is not a bad idea but you gotta watch out for the australian navy fucking sea patrol constantly shooting even right now as we speak shooting it down boat people coming to <laughs> coming to australia all right i'm gonna have to do it like this because there's only a limited number i can like house per ship oh, lucky i've got a trigger finger i'm the fucking two time anyway um let's get them to operate i don't know i was gonna say over australia but maybe not anyway hopefully we don't get cooked in the fucking water before we even get here nah it looks like it's an eight to four 95 now seventh brigade brigade oh, fuck i can't say brigade oh hang on oh we don't have a transport bomber i was gonna say we might be able to nuke the aussies anyway the battle of the tasman scene we've come up against admiral gray Giggs. the australians lost two of their corv uh, corvettes but they did lose some frigates we did lose seven of our own but all i care about is the invasion which we are winning by the smallest of margins come on we want to try and get there uh, before the aussies send in reinforcements god if the light horse comes in it's going to be a bit of a bugger isn't it old chap 85 79 99 yep she's all over red rover australia has been done for now that we have brisbane we can send in the 23 divisions legend and all these men couldn't hold them off anyway um let's head down here on the coast because everyone knows everything on the east coast of australia that's it there's nothing else over there radelaide the wild west don't even need to worry about that. Right, let's push down. And just rapidly expand where we can. <laughs> I hope people be people think I'm ironic. Like, <laughs> just taking the piss half the time. It's satire. Satire. Bolivia goes to war against Paraguay. Here we go. We've got some stuff kicking off. We're trying to make some ground against the, uh, the Aussies. Um... You know what? Bugger it. Let's call in our call in our allies. I'm tempted to do that. Thirteen divisions. I want to get like just support, really. Alrighty. Let's make a front line with our twenty three divisions that have landed, and let's sort of swing it around a bit differently. Let's push down and take the capital of Australia. What's the capital of Australia, guys? Well, it's a star here. I was going to give you a quiz. It's not Melbourne. It's Sydney. It's Canberra, in the ACT. All right, what's going on here now? China goes to war with India. What? Um. Okay. Not that I particularly wanted, because I want to go to war with China or India. But this is the chaos mod for you. Sometimes shit happens. You know. 
All right, let's get these paratroopers over on the front line. So we've made a really strong headway. So we've got some suburb, suburb riots. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I really wanted to get that, um... Ah, cock. I want to get that, um... War economy boost, but it's gonna... It's not gonna help me. Anyway, how far have we gone here now? What, what have we taken? Anything significant nearby? Nah, not really. Maybe an airbase. Might be alright. Getting one of them. We're pushing south. Quite convincingly now. Morocco goes to war with West Sahara. That's quite a common thing. If we can push down and take Sydney, we'll be laughing. Like a fucking galah. Come on, you dickheads. Push for it. There we go. I love how, like, the, the UK's fighting with the same sort of rifles as the Aussies. Wow, okay. Moldova at war with the... Trans-something Republic. Um, we're probably better off cutting these blokes off here. Go for that, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Go for that. We got Sydney. Wow. Okay. Ro Rwanda State on Brunei. Where the fuck is that? Holy crap, she's, uh, she's kind of kicking off a bit here, boys. So we're at war with the Aussies. Bolivia's at war with Paraguay. China and India are at each other's throat. 150 versus 80. That's going to be a tough one, especially pushing north here. Oh, they've actually made a bit of ground. I quite like this. Maybe we should, once we get Australia, push on the Indians, reform the British Raj. Oh, wow, Bolivia's, like, about to gobble up Paraguay. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments um, where you'd like me to expand. And if you are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do to ensure more Hearts of Iron content on the channel and more of this UK series is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comment section down below your feedback. It really does help me out a bunch. But if you're not enjoying the series and want to see a different game played, let me know as well. Maybe you want to see more Crusader Kings 2, maybe another strategy game. Um, let me know. We're about to surround and kill a lot of Aussies here. Leaving a dislike even helps, like, to be honest. So feel free. But, at the end of the day, do whatever the fuck you want. Because you're gonna do it anyway. Regardless of what I say. <laughs> anyway, um, so, all easy, mate. No worries. Alright, let's get a maintenance company, because we don't want our tanks to go fucking kabooch. Right. We're, we're going really strong for Dubbo. <laughs> The Wild West. Yeehaw! Come on, what the fuck is this? Like, why haven't they capitulated 55? I'm tempted to make Tasmania a um, uh, independent state. If we can do that, that'd be awesome. I wonder if you can actually know. You actually can't unlock stuff. Anyway, what the fuck's going on up here? We've taken... Uluru, so that's alright. What's this Townsville, yeah. They love their footy up there. Townsville. Really nice bunch of people, actually. Like their liquor. Right, what the fuck is going on here? We managed to sink two Aussie subs, that's cool. They managed to hit one of my planes. Alright, things are getting a little bit of out of hand here, guys. Alrighty, we've, I've just overshot that political power by quite a bit. I didn't even notice it. Let's switch over to War Economy. We're currently at 29% Monarchist. And we're currently dominating the, um, the political sphere, you could say. Hey, there we go. Australia has capitulated the Treaty of Hobart. Okay, let's, um... Take all the states. Um, actually, you know what? We could leave us. We could like puppet Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tempted to do. Oh, and then change. Oh fuck! Now how do I do that then? Hang on. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mainland of Australia, but as a Tasmanian myself, I'm going to give the Tasmanians independence. They can live in this small little island, and anyone that, uh, well, isn't locked in chains, we fled to Tasmania. 
boosting our economy. Right, okay, so let's puppet them. Tasmania will be a puppet now. Ideally, it would have been good to make them a puppet when a Monaco is, monarchy would have been in charge. But anyway, they're being puppeted now. And there we go. Oh, I need to put... Whoa, 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 whoa. Some things have kicked off there. So, Barnaby Joyce? We don't want that fucking Kiwi in charge. What is this shit? Oh, it's because we're technically a conservative government and the fucking nationals are in. Who's the monarchist? Windsor, Australia. Huh. I might boost that. When we're done. Anyway, so, Tasmania's still a thing. British Australia. Excellent. I like the sound of that. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. This is the 2nd of July, 2017. We've taken Australia, of, of course, and we've taken Ireland. Let me know where you'd like me to expand in the next episode. It's probably not a bad shout to invade India. We could quite easily do that from Australia. If not, we could probably like hit Sri Lanka and then push up. It's probably not a bad idea doing that because there is the Chinese-Indian war going on right now. And it looks, yeah, Asian... Uh, Asian coalition of people. So who's actually a part of that? Hong Kong and Macau. Nothing really too big. But we might be able to bring back the British Raj. I really, the main objective for this series is to bring back the British Empire. Taking huge chunks in Africa. Maybe even going in... I think Argentina should be definitely on our list over the conflict with the Falcons. Quite Falcons. Vulcans, <laughs> the Falklands, cried uh, quite recently. Those bloody Argentine Vulcans. I've seen the new Star Trek. I don't actually mind it. It's quite all right. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to still remain in NATO. Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II should be here next episode as well. Uh, eventually when that ticks over. But anyway, unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than YouTube. YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel you have to click the bell of course to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments if you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games check out my g2a affiliation link in the description below maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet maybe hearts of iron maybe crusader kings 2 maybe a total war check out my g2a affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games i do recommend going and checking out the prices even there's some really good prices on there patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the steam group come and join the community on steam and on that note unfortunately i have to end the video here thank you very much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is Ben cmc goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there